Hello there everybody, I am the Admiral, and guess what time it is? It's time for us to look at our Eevee that we just got. Level 20. Oh my god, its attacks are terrible, which means that we have some TMs that we should probably try to give it. Uh, nah, nah. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep this thing on me, but I'm going to not use it because you can still get happiness that way. And if you're wondering where I am or what this big blue thing is, it's apparently a ride on. Uh, okay. So you talk to this guy. Not only are the kimono girls great dancers, but they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch, lad. If you could defeat all the kimono girls, I'll give you a gift. Alright, so our objective here is to basically beat all the kimono girls. Woohoo! Let's go ahead and get started from right to left. They all have level 17 evolutions. So one of them has a Jolteon, one of them has a Flareon, one of them has a Vaporeon, one of them has an Espeon, one of them has an Umbreon. They all have three of the same moves, Tackle, Sand Attack, and Growl, I think. And they also have the weakest elemental attack, which means that this Jolteon will have Thunderbolt, or Thundershock, rather, uh, the Psybeam, yes, goodbye, confusion, because I don't like having two of the same types on the same Pokemon. And, um, but something. Okay. Uh, this one is going to have... Oh no, give me a second. Sorry about that, we're back. Now we're back. Alright, this one's got a Vaporeon, which means that it has... Yeah, what does it have? Um, bleh, the water gun, wow. That was bad. This one, I believe, is the Espeon, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Zephyr. And you do have Umbreon, and, which means that the Umbreon has Pursuit, not Bite, which a lot of people thought it would be Bite. It's not Bite, it's Pursuit. This one is the Espeon, I do believe, which means that it has Confusion. So we're going to go out to Gatorade, because Gatorade has Bite. Alright, let's go ahead and take this one out with we'll bite. Oh, th this thing's actually probably the sec- I think it's the second fastest one. Yeah, and this last one has a Flareon, which means that it has Ember. Which means that Gatorade's just the perfect Pokemon for this. At level 23, hooray! And the only reason that this is in the game at all is so you talk to this guy afterwards, not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. So he gives you HMO3, which, as we all know, contains Surf. Apparently, his right on no Surf. I really don't want to talk to you again. Okay. So let's go ahead and take this surf and shove it up. No, no, we're not shoving anything. There will be no shoving. Use. Yes. Yes. On gate war aid. Gatorade wants Lord Surf. Blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. Waltz of Gun. Which means Gatorade now has two HMs, which is not entirely good, but not entirely bad. Now, if this were Pokemon Crystal, you'd have to go up here to the tower, the tin tower, the brass tower. Burn Tower. The Tin Tower is actually... Okay, that was fast. I didn't actually expect to do that. But, you head up here, and... Oh, shoot. I forgot about him. Oh, it's you. You wanted to get stronger, so you came for the legendary Pokemon. That's supposed to be here. That's your story, right? Well, that's not going to happen, because I'm going to get it. I'm going to be the world's greatest trainer, so a legendary Pokemon would be perfect for me. Well, anyway, I'm getting tired of how it looks like you always showing up. And we're going to battle him. And he's going to curse his taunter, which is perfectly fine with me. He's going to send out a Magnemite. Which means I'm going to send out David Blaine, which is... This is a prime example of why he has Fire Punch now. I don't think anybody else on my team could learn it. At least yet. Because I think Gengar could have learned it, but... I don't know if Haunter can learn it or not. Because I know the Zubat, which means I'm going to stay right here, actually, and use Psybeam. Perfect. He's got a Bayleaf, 
This is primed for Wraith. I'm going to put it to sleep. Do a little nightmare. And now, let's wreck out the nightshades. You see now, this is just going to be a fantastic combo to use. It's not exactly going to hurt Pokemon that fast. This is a Rock Smash Rock. Pokemon may be able to break it. If I, th I don't know if... Well, they're the legendary beasts. Yes, they're beasts. They're not dogs. They're not cats. They're not gerbils. They're not hamsters. They are the legendary beasts. Okay? Let's get one thing straight. Oh! Well, apparently you can find Magmar in here. I didn't actually know that. Alright, so we're actually going to go ahead and start the gym now. So let's go ahead and switch David Blaine to the front. He's going to be doing a vast majority of the battling. And we're going to speed through all the trainers now, which means in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and tackle Morty. But without further ado, the gym. And you battle. This guy's got five Ghastlies, all level 16, so he's going to be a piece of cake. If my own Ghastly actually do an attack, that would be super effective on them, which he doesn't anymore because I got rid of Lick. Yeah, I'd probably use him, but David Blaine, just, I need him to be faster than the leaders of powerful Pokemon. Which is his Gengar. So, actually, I don't think you have to battle this. You're right, you don't. I had heard that you don't have to battle that trainer. I believe that's the only trainer it works for, but apparently you don't have to battle that trainer if you don't want, which I'm going to do anyway on the way out. This trainer, unfortunately, you do have to battle. So, three out of four, you have to battle. So, I mean, it's it's easy enough training. It really is. Go ahead, take that out. Right, you should be level 25 by the end of this gym. Perfect. Got one more trainer. And if you fall on a misstep here, you get teleported back to the front. It's kind of like those blocks that we saw, those black spots on the floor that we just saw. It's uh just like that. Oh yeah. You you walk into it and you get a, and you just drop. Oh well, too bad, so sad. Oh well, well we took down all the trainers in the Ecrutique City gym. We have our Eevee, which is going to gain happiness by staying on our team. I think I think you get happiness that way anyway. That would be very unfortunate if it wasn't. And every next day I'll go ahead and give it a haircut if I can even do that. But that's I gotta wait till morning or day to evolve it, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to I don't even know where am I going? I, I have no idea where I'm going. Where I, I should be staying here, right? Right. I should be here. Well, anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this episode of our Pokemon Gold pre-team itemless run. In the next episode, we're going to be taking down the Ecrutique City Gym Leader, Morty, and his, and his ghost team. I'll see you guys all then. Peace.